Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to this new episode in which we will see this new character, the captain of the Argos patrol ship. You can see that this guy has a different kind of uniform, much in the way we envision typical sci-fi ship uniform, unlike the captain of the space cruise ship, in which case, because of aesthetic reasons, uh, is following the maritime uniform tradition. And well, without delving into further detail, you can see this. This is the same concept we follow with the other characters, separating the suit, the hands, the head, the hair, and in this case, the beard, because we have to rig it so it can follow the movements of the chin and the mouth. So you can see in this case, when selecting the bones, the beard is following the movement of, in this case, the chin or the mouth here. We keep using the same kind of shaders. This is the same system for the cruise ship captain's hair. But we discovered some new little details. Recently I discovered an interesting solution that I'm starting to test with this plugin called Abnormal, which is used for modifying the normals so you can customize it a little. Seems to be very useful for improving the shading, especially in, in the case of the faces. So this works by selecting the object, entering into edit mode, and then selecting, for example, these vertices on the nose. And you can rotate the normals to change the shading. In this area, it was more or less like this. And I moved them to make a bigger shadow. I'll continue to make some experiments, but for now, I don't master it that much. And here, for example, when you go to the subdivision panel, you can check or uncheck the use custom normals box, so you can see the difference between the original and the modified normals. Another thing is that, for example, in this case, I made a little animation, so I can test the face expression. And in this case, I could get this kind of bitter expression that I was looking for in this character. But the problem here is that when I'm making the render, I find that the eyes are completely contoured by the lines. And this is not desirable for the style on the character design. And this is not a problem with the freestyle edges or things like that. It is more like the crease angle is inevitably generating these lines. The solution I'm trying is making these little shapes that I can put around the, the base of the eyes with its own material that, like any other material, is by default set to opaque. I changed this to alpha clip and excluded from line generation. And being in front of the eyes when we hit render, it will avoid generating the lines in that zone. Is there a better way to achieve the same result? I don't know, but for now it's working pretty good. And it could be an interesting trick that could be used in many other situations. Now we'll try some render. And this is all I got for today. And I leave you with an animation test fully composited. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.